In this episode of Valorcast, we're going to be installing this Honda S300 into this P28 ECU and prepping the head for the LSV tech conversion. <laughs> So, got the P28 here, Honda here, we're going to suss it out and hopefully get it in right now. So, with the Honda to ship, this row here and this row here have already got to get desoldered. This row here and this row here also have to get desoldered. And one, two, three, and four need to be desoldered. And we're replacing them with some components for the Hondata chip. And there's something else over here somewhere that I'll talk about later. Right, uh, so I got the P28 board out of the casing here. And um, I'm going to start on these ones here. But the main thing when you're doing this is you just want to try and avoid burning the board because that's going to probably ruin it. So don't burn the board and you should be fine. Most of it's pretty beginner. Like, I don't have much soldering um, experience, but um, I'm going to give it a crack anyway. Righto, so that's where we're at. We've done the first row there. It's uh, pretty nerve-wracking. It's actually not too hard. But, um, yeah, done the first row, then we'll go into the second row. Alright, so I've got all of them done. I've done J1. Now I've got to do R54, and then I can move on to IC4. So as you can see, they're all desoldered. Flip forward over. Now it's time to install that chip into there. Alright, so with the chip, there's a little half-moon shape on that side. That's got to go on that side there, so I'll try and install it. Alright, so I just push that chip in, and now I'm going to solder it in. So I just finished installing that chip, as you can see the ones are a bit darker than mine. And I'm pretty happy with that. It's in nice and tight. Now I'm just going to do the rest of the pins. Right, so I've just popped that jumper in the J1. You see the legs are still hanging out, and I'm going to solder that in quickly. And get on to R54. Right, so once we've soldered it in, we're just gonna clip it off. And when they're not in the way when we're trying to install the casing soon. Right, so on these male pins that Honda to give you, we've got to get four for CN2, and then two sets of 14 for these long ones here. Right, so I've soldered the CN2 in. Now I've just got to solder these in. I've just set them in for the moment. I'll test fit the Honda just now, just to make sure everything's up, um, fitting nice and tight. So as you can see, I've cut J12 there, because you've got to um, do that to enable data logging. So CN2 is in, um, I see 3 is all in, all the pins are in, that chip is in, and I'm pretty sure that is all in. I'm going to double check Honda's website, and hopefully that's all it. And also J1 and R54 are also in. Alright, so I've just checked over... All the soldering joints, they all look perfect, so I'm going to chuck on the S300 and uh, see how it all fits and lines up, and then I'll cut a uh, cutout on the case so the uh, data logging port is accessible. I know, that's on. Now just to cut out that cutout on the side of the casing. Also, it's a good idea to use some break and pass cleaner on the back of the board where you've been soldering so there's no flux um, joining any uh, connections or anything. And there it is, the Honda S300 into a P28. You can see it's all nice and nice and flush and tight. Just gonna mark the casing out. Right, so I'm in the car with the uh, automatic ECU still in there. Here's the Honda just here. I'm gonna unplug this, plug this one in, and if it all works, there should be a green light that comes on telling me that everything's okay. Put the key in the ignition. And then I'm going to turn it. There we go. The green light means everything's good to go, and we can plug the laptop in and put a base map on it. Right, so once you get your Honda, you got to register it as um you're, you're the owner. So punch all this stuff in, and then we'll get onto the tune. Right, so once your laptop's plugged into your S300, you can fill around with your tune. So I'm just going for a stock P74 map, uh, just just for the moment to see if everything works. Uh, when the VTEC head comes, I've already got a tune ready to upload to it, but just playing around with some little stuff like launch control, I'll change the rev limiter up a little bit, and um, yeah, fiddle around for a little bit, then we'll be ready to upload it and do the first start. Also, when you're doing a base mount like this, make sure you do your gear, gear ratios, so I'm going to scroll down to 
the S80 for the US Integra LSGS and then we press OK that's done and then that's basically it launch control is set at 4000 always on um, I'm pretty sure that's that's everything uh, we've got all the other stuff here I've got everything in the car still so I shouldn't have to disable any of that stuff I was wrong, so you need to disable the injector error and the barometric pressure sensor because that'll throw a check engine light as well and when I first started the car, that I had an issue with them. Obviously no VTEC. Uh, I think that's everything to go. So, what I'm going to do, make sure that's all good. I'm going to check over the, all the tables and then I'm going to upload it to the car and get the first start. Right, so we've just tried to do the tune. So we're going to turn it off, turn it back on, make sure that check engine light goes away. And I'm going to give it a bit of a start. There we go, she's up and running. Check engine lights on, not sure why that is, but I'll look into that. So we're just going for a drive now, just to test everything out. I'm data logging it as we speak on my laptop. Just making sure everything's all good, air fuel ratios and everything. Then when we get home, I'll assess it all and see how good it is. And um, if we need to, go back to the old ECU until we put the VTEC head on, but it should be good. So this is what we got from the data log, as you can see it needs a fair bit of fine tuning but I'll get onto that soon. And the source of the check engine light was the oxygen sensor heater, which I just disabled in S Manager. I'm not too sure why it's actually on, but um, I'm going to try and track down the source. And the last step is to install this Honda Arter sticker just to let everyone know that you've got a Honda Arter under the lid. The casing still needs a bit of a clean up, but there it is. P28 with a Honda Arter S300 installed. Alright, so with the LSV tech conversion, there's this little oil feed hole that hangs over the edge of the B18 B block. And you need to drill it out to 8.5mm and then tap it with a 1 8 NPT thread. So all we're going to do is just drill it out now. You just need to make sure you're at a direct 90 degree angle. Make sure you're nice and square on with it, otherwise it'll be crooked. All right, so we're just finished drilling it out. So the oil port that we're using is this oil feed hose for the um, oil feed. So we're going to go through there and that's going to blow out this hole here. So if I chuck some air in there, blow that out. Just to make sure there's no metal shavings in the oil um, hole. Alright, so I've just got the tap going in here, the 1 8 tap, so as you can tell I'm not a expert at this, but I'm just putting some weight on it, back and forward, just cleaning the threads as I'm going through, just to make sure it's going in nice and smooth and straight. So I've just finished doing the tap, so I'm going to run the plug in just to make sure all the threads are nice and smooth, and then once we get down, we'll just do a test just to see how much thread tape we'll need, it feels pretty nice and tight there. And then once we get it to that stage, we'll run something flat over it just to make sure that it is nice and nice and flat, which it is. So I've just chucked a real small amount of thread tape on this uh, plug here. Uh, it was pretty tight before. This is just kind of a precautionary measure just to make sure that no oil is going to leak on the back of my block. Done. Now I'll just run over it. Yep, nice and flat. I've also just quickly punched in the uh, LSV Tech dowel pins, so they're a step down dowel pin, as you can see, a little bit of an edge, perfect for the B18B block. So we've just taken out that bung that comes in there from the factory, and I'm going to pop this in. Alright, so... I've just got thread tape in there, as you can see. Just make sure you add some thread tape uh, so no oil leaks out. But this is all tightened down, ready to go. Nice and tight, no movement or anything. So that's ready for the oil to be supplied to. All right, guys, so that's the end of this video. Thanks for coming along and watching me put the Honda S300 in this P28 and prepping the head for LSV Tech. Stay tuned for, we've got a bunch of parts going in soon and a bunch more episodes coming out for the LSV Tech conversion. We got plenty and plenty of mods to do to it while we're doing this uh, conversion. So stay tuned for the next videos.
Thanks for watching this episode of Valve House.